That's a 35! That's a 35! Let us begin! Alright! In the heart's murky depths. Here we go! So, like, what was that shocking? Or what? I mean, wow! Knowing what I mean, Bill, I know you do. Yeah, I have to admit, I couldn't believe it either. I mean, how does Cafe Lament manage to offer a 40% bigger portion of poison Hayashi rice for the same price as before? That is not what I'm talking about! Yeah, Bill. He's talking about how Satan cracked open an egg this morning to find out that it has four yolks? Can that really happen in real life? I do know there's a double yolk thing, but that's also super rare. Ugh, no, you're both wrong! Also, four yolks? That's insane! But I'm talking about Lucifer! I mean, really? Ah, uh, you meant the whole I don't want to thing. Yeah, that! It was weird, I expected him to say, fine, I'll help. But in a sort of arrogant, I'm doing you a favor kind of way. I know, right? I mean, for him for to be the only one to say no like that? This is just a guess, but maybe he's being controlled by his own powers of pride? Yeah, that has to be like a... Yeah, Mammon has to be right. Yeah. I don't know about that. Come on! Mammon has to be right! You're telling me you don't think that's it? I don't have any way to dispose of it, but I just can't imagine him being controlled by his own powers. So basically you're saying he really doesn't want to help? Well, that's what I think, at least. Still, something doesn't feel right. Come on, Mammon has the answer, you silly gooses! I don't believe Lucifer would respect Basie's wishes. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that he cares a lot about Macy too. What do you think, Macy? I mean, what does Lucifer care about most of all? Family. Yep, I agree. And I know Lucifer thinks of you as family too, Macy. Then he could have found a better way of saying no. I mean, I don't want to. What is he, six? Probably six million. Well, either way, maybe you should try talking to him again. Not bad. Right, good idea. The two of you should take some time to sit down and talk about it. Shush, discussion over. He's coming. Boy. You're all still waiting? Yeah. Oh! Oh, hi, I must, Lushva. You better get moving or you're going to be late. Huh? Yikes! I didn't realize how late it was! Huh? Let's go. Huh? Hey, wait up! Huh? What about you, Lucifer? You're not leaving yet? Uh. I have somewhere I need to go to on the way to Rad. I've already sent word that I'll be late today. Boy. Macy! I'm going to need your help. Ooh, me? Really? Help you with what? You'll find out when we get there. Now, come on. Let's get moving. Yippee! Well, this is it. This is the place. Ooh. You gonna buy some books? Well, this is a bookstore, after all, so, yeah. We're here to order textbooks to use at Rad. The day of the ceremony is coming soon, but there is still a lot left to do. Too much, in fact. I'm going to say hello to the owner of the shop. You wait here. There's a poster with an eye-catching design affixed to the stone window. Collect uh, tickets for your chance to spin the wheel. And fabulous prizes, special promotion now on. Looks like a sort of thing that you would be making mammon go giddy. Are you interested in that too? 
Mm, you're not interested? I suppose that depends on what sort of prizes are involved. Anyways, I managed to put it in order. The books are about uh, the human world, which is why I thought it might be better to have along, or to have you along. But it turns out I was able to decide everything on my own. Sorry for dragging you all the way out here. Come on, let's head to Rad. This is just an idea, Macy. What if you were trying to work as a professor at Rad? You could teach subjects related to the human world. I think there would be demand for it. Hmm. Why tell me this? No particular reason, as I told you. It's just something that occurred to me. Working as a professor and earning a salary sounds better than being a student, don't you think? Are you interested in history? What if you become the Devil Dome's first professor or of human world history? If you can't make a pact with me, then you will indeed be here forever. That's what you said yesterday, isn't it? You're not going to be able to make a pact with me. Rather than pursuing a lost cause, choose to live in the Devil Dome. It'll be much easier for you. Come on, Lucifer! We've gone over this with your brothers! Come on. You're asking the wrong question, you see. What I think doesn't matter. Because out of everyone, you are who wants us to stay together the most. No one hates the idea of having to say goodbye more than you, Macy. Now, come on, let's go. What the crunch? Guided by an angel. Seriously, what is Lucifer's issue? Hey, did you hear? Some new food samples are supposed to show up at the cafeteria today. Stuff they're thinking of adding to the menu. Of course, Beale would react like that. Who told you that? Who else? Barbados, so Beale, what do you say? Eh, where'd he go? Uh, he was right there a second ago. He went to get the food. Yeah, he bolted straight out of the classroom. Happened in a blink of an eye. Whoa. Well, that's all right. Let's head over there after him. Let's go, Satan. Ugh, why drag me into this? I'm going to, since I'm worried about my twin. All right, then. Let's get moving. Macy? Hi, Simeon. You're not going to the cafeteria with them? About you. It does sound interesting, but at the moment, I'm more interested in finding out if you're okay. You seemed a little spaced out today, like you're lost in your own thoughts. If there's something you're going to like to talk about, I'm happy to listen. Speaks about Lucifer later. So Lucifer says that you wanted to stay here more than anyone? <laughs> Ah, uh, sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I just couldn't help but think that in all these years, Lucifer hasn't changed one bit. You can't hide anything from him, you see. No one else can. Lucifer has a way of picking up on things that even you're not aware of. Honestly, I pretty much convinced him it's like a, some sort of special power. Power? So if that's what Lucifer told you, then I'm sure you'll realize to do feel the way deep inside, deep down inside, even if you don't realize it. However, Macy, be aware that this is also a tactic of his. Tactic? Yes, a very crafty one of that. What I'm saying is, Lucifer is trying to guide you towards the outcome that he himself desires. It's not a bad thing to be unsure of yourself, Macy. Whenever you're not so sure about yourself or what to do, just have a little talk with yourself. Here, try convincing your ears, or I mean, try covering, try covering your ears, like this. 
quiet your mind and listen to your voice. See if you can hear it. Good. Just like that. Take a deep breath and close your eyes. What is it you really want, Macy? What does your heart desire? Macy? So, how'd it go? Were you able to hear your inner voice? If you have a better idea of what you really want now, then try speaking to Lucifer one more time. And make it nice long talk. Okay, so what do you want to do now? You know, since it's lunchtime and all. Alright, to the cafeteria! <laughs> Great idea! I just was about to ask if you wanted to go, actually. Alright, let's get moving. We have to get there before Beelzebub devours everything. Oh boy. Whoa, are you okay? Levi, are you okay? Quit being so loud! This ice cream is crazy! It's a limited edition cockatrice liver flavor! A what flavor? Ugh, that's disgusting. I do not know how I feel about organ flavored ice cream. Yeah, Levi must be knocking. By the way, where's Lucifer? He said he uh, to stay late. Something about a meeting to discuss the ceremony. Another meeting? Well, that's just how it is. The ceremony is coming up soon, after all. If the ceremony is coming up soon, then... That also means Macy's magic is going to run out soon, huh? Yeah. Look glum. I know, I know, I shouldn't, but I can't help it. By the way, Bill, you having another ice pop? How many did you have now? This is number five. Bill, your breath is turning into ice! Wait, that flavor is ancient glacier, isn't it? We discovered another new flavor? Whoa, that's crazy, lol. Huh? Hey, how many tickets do you need to spend that wheel again? Huh? I think it was five. Huh? And we got four now, so close. We just need one more. Just one more, you say? Wait here, wait a second, I'll be right back. What's up with him? Is he going back for more ice cream or something? Yeah. Nope, I don't think that's it. No, oh, what's he doing? I'm back! Guess what? The nice owner of the ice cream shop said they'd give me an extra ticket. I knew it. Espo, did you charm them? You did, didn't you? You're kidding me. The whole charm thing is scary powerful, lol. Man, when they say spin the wheel, I figured they meant a real wheel. That kind that goes clickety-clickety-click. Guess not. Nope, they're just making an app for everything now. How does it work? You spin the wheel on the screen, and if it lands on a space with the prize, it gets whatever is listed. Is it me, or is that one terrible Routlet wheel? I mean, it's 80% losing space. Uh. I guess whoever has the best luck should be the one to spin it, right? <laughs> well, then that would be the GREAT MAMON ORESAMA! Uh. Probably even less likely to win with you spinning MAMON. What? What'd you say?! Uh. Hey, come to think of it... Mammon may not be very lucky, sure, but his greed powers grant amazing luck to any human in a pact with him, right? Bingo! Yeah. That's right! I forgot! Okay, Macy, you're up. 
Try hitting the stop button. Here goes nothing. Good luck, Macy. Thank you. Ooh. Whoa. We won. What did I win, though? Macy, you're amazing. And look, we didn't just win. We won first prize. You're right. We won the first prize, which is um, which is a travel vulture for two. Now listen, it's not amazing, Macy. That's amazing, okay? It's my powers. You know, now that I think about it, why don't my powers grant me that kind of luck? I'd be rolling in Dorothy's for two, for two, for two. What? The tour companion. All right, here we have our prize. A travel vulture good for a trip for two. One of those two will be Macy, who is the reason we won the first prize to begin with. That leaves just one spot. One of us can go with Macy, and I already know what I'm picking. We have to make a choice, and to help us do that, I put together the following presentation. Why are you in charge, Satan? Because I'm the best choice for the job. Think about it. What if Mamon or Asma were in charge? How would things turn out? Uh. Good point. Uh. Solid. Your logic is. I argue with it. I cannot. Jones? Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? You got a lot of nerve talking like that. Also... Macy only won first prize because of the great Mammon's powers, you know? Oh. Which means I should be the one to go. It should be me and Macy. Yeah, yeah. It's possible it has nothing to do with your powers. Who knows it was Macy's own luck that that one the vulture. Huh. Right, it could be just been a coincidence. Audience. Are you crazy? Come on! Well, if anyone's going with that trip with Macy, it should be the cutest, most beautiful being in all the three worlds, am I right? Yes, you are! <laughs> no, the best choice would be someone learning who is learned and well-read. I think it should be someone who can down a lot of food. Well, I think it should be a really good sleeper. That's what you want in a traveling companion. Ugh, to be honest, I can't think of a single reason why I'd be good to travel with, but I should be the one to go. What the? That doesn't even make any sense! I don't think that would be the sort of solution you're, we're looking for. Uh. If we can't be alone with you, there's no point. Exactly! What? You know what? You should be the ones to settle this, Macy. Which one of us do you want to go hang out with? Who is it gonna be, huh? Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't be such a waste, though. Yeah, we won first prize. It would be a shame not to go on the trip at all. Okay then, how about we go and figure this... Enough! Hey, Lucifer. Yeah. Lucifer, you're back? Oh. I'll go on the trip with Basie. Who could have guessed? Huh? Say what? Objection! <laughs> this can't be happening. Oh, but it is. Macy and I need some time to talk, after all. But! Just this morning, didn't all of you say that Macy should take some time to talk about things over with me? You heard that? Lucifer, that's cheating! We never stood a chance. There is just no winning against the elites. Alright, that's all of it. End of discussion. Understood? So, where are we going? I don't know. Oh.
Ohayo gozaimasu. Have you been waiting long? Eh, I got here. I see. Good. So we're about to head up on our three-day tour of the underworld. I'm looking forward to it, Macy. By the way, were you just going on a little trip? Why have you have so many? Why have so many of you come to see us off? What? Something wrong with that? We aren't going to let you have any alone time with Macy until the moment you actually leave. Call it our little way of fighting back school. Macy, if you have any kind of problems, you make sure to call me right away, okay? Okay. Don't drink anything Lucifer gives you, okay? Understood? Don't trust any food he gives you either. Actually, don't give it with a six-foot radius of him. <laughs> you brothers are as entertaining as ever. Simeon, I don't think they're choking. Ridiculous. Ugh, kudaron. Come on, Macy, time to go. See you later. Have a nice trip. Such a gloomy, have a nice trip before. Just so you know, I've intended to thoroughly enjoy my time with Macy, so I forgot to say or to stay in touch with all of you. But there is no need to worry, alright? What? Grr! Die. Lucifer, you really are a riot. Um, like I said, I don't think that was supposed to be funny. I don't know. That's a pretty strange station. This way, Macy. It certainly is crowded here. Make sure you stay close. Yes, it is pretty busy. From what I hear, it's always like this. Steam locomotives used to be viewed in a negative light in the Devil Dome because they were seen as transportations for demons who lacked the ability to fly. However, now that more convenient technology exists, the demons actually seek them out. Apparently, it becomes a trend to take trains on trips on them for fun. Nowadays, the attracted customers seek a luxury experience. Devil Dome nobles sometimes go on secret holidays on trades like these, or so Diablo says. Looks like this is our trade. You really have to watch your step when boarding these trains. Here, give me your hand, Macy. Be careful, alright? Thanks. The Devil Dome Luxury Train. I've been on a train before, too. Alright, this is your room. I'm in the compartment next door. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. It's very fancy. Well, it is made to appeal the taste of the high-ranking nobles I told you, didn't I? Before I forget, Macy, go ahead and open the box from the clothing you see here. Those outfits are from me. There are two of them. Both are appropriately attired for dinner tonight. I prefer the blue one, but I think the color of the outfit is closer to what you usually like to wear. Just pick out wherever one you want to wear and wear it for dinner. I'm heading back to my room. See you later. Which outfit should I wear for dinner? Blue's my favorite color, so yeah. I knew it. The shade of blue really looks good on you. Me, see, take my arm. I feel honored to be served at your escort tonight. And since the others aren't here, I have you all to myself. Is he trying to kidnap me? Is this whole trip of him trying to kidnap me or something? I have you all to myself looking like that. Yet another reason to feel honored. 
I have a feeling this is going to be a very enjoyable evening. Have you decided what you like to order? Yes, we both like this dinner here, with the thick corn tenderloin roti as our main course. We'll take our appetizer, garnish it with the blood sauce, also a bottle of Tangulus Vintage 666 Demonus, and two glasses if you would. I think that should do it. Very good. Is there something wrong? Doesn't matter what I want, boy. What gives you that idea? You'll find that whatever I've chosen will appeal to you. I can promise you that. I know you, Macy, inside and out, so you need not to worry. Anyway, let's make a toast. To us and our trip together. Kapai? I don't know, boy. Ugh, it's raining so hard. Hmm. This is very good. I think it's on par with the Rotisserie 6, wouldn't you say? So now that you sampled the food, what do you think? I chose well, didn't I? It's pretty good. I could tell from the look on your face. So I take that you're convinced now? I really do know you better than anyone else. In fact, I know you far better than you know yourself. That's, I feel like my warning signs might be going off. And I'm telling you, you're better off staying here. What if, uh, you really want, Macy? What does your heart desire? Why am I repeating what I'm saying earlier? Well then, what else is there to say? I take it you mean you're staying? You're nothing if not stubborn. Fortunately, we still have time. We can spend the rest of our trip talking this over. You can choose the desert if you like. For both of us. Oh, I'm, I misread uh, desert with dessert. Silly me. I have to say, I really enjoyed dinner. And I like the dessert you chose as well. Did you enjoy yourself? It wouldn't hurt to have a little fun. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Well then, see you tomorrow. Oyasumi, Macy. What was that? It sounds like the train stopped. Did we just pull over to a station? Or could there be some sort of problem, I wonder? I wonder, indeed. Well, too bad we have to wait until Friday to know the answer. But I'm glad that I'm, I'm just glad that I'm finally able to catch up with everything else. Bye, guys!